Every day we get to have interesting conversations with people about real estate and the market and what's going to happen, what's going on with interest rates. Today, we had a conversation with someone who is currently renting and he said, you know what? I've been advised to wait six months because interest rates are going to go down. And so I'm better off if I do that. So I thought, are you? And so I took a look at it, uh, trigger warning, there's going to be math in this video, but I looked at the situation. So if that person right now bought a house for $600,000, put 20% down and got a 5.19% interest rate and paid $2,000 in property taxes, then his payment would be $3,010 a month. Total cost for the next 12 months would be 36120 but of course, while he's paying that mortgage, he's building some equity. So he would build $9,706 in equity. So if you look at his cost, less that equity, his net cost for the year is going to be uh, $26,414. So let's look at what happens if he waits. He's going to pay that rent for another six months. So at $2,700 a month, that's $16,200. When he goes to buy the house, so here's the thing, if interest rates start to drop as people believe they will in July, then the price of houses is gonna go up. So I conservatively said, we're gonna see a 3% increase in housing prices if interest rates start to drop because there's still such a demand for homes. So the cost of that house is gonna go up to 618,000. At 20% down still, 1% less in interest rates. And we don't know that that's going to happen, but let's just say for argument's sake, a 4.19% interest rate, only six months of property taxes, then the monthly cost is going to be 2741. And in six months, that's going to be 16,446. So the total of six months rent and six months mortgage is $32,646. So that's less than if he bought right now. However, he's not going to build the same kind of equity in six months as he would in a year. So the equity drops to $4,123. The net cost for that person is $28,523 versus $26,000. So it's going to cost more to wait. And we're forgetting one really important thing. This house is now worth $618,000. So early buyer got another $18,000 in wealth by not waiting that six months. So I'd love to hear what you think about this. Does my math make sense? Because I'm saying if you're ready now, buy now. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments.